What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lex. In today's video, girl, you won't believe this drama. Oh my gosh, girl, we have someone to talk about. Tati Westbrook is in the drama again. And I kind of feel like she's been doing really good. She's been putting her little foot in the drama here and there. I've been watching, girl. We've been doing our little investigations in the house. Well, Tati Westbrook has been hinting that she has something big coming, a big announcement, and we have it all. And I watch her video, so you don't have to. I, I took notes, girl, I took notes. So let me see here. Ugh, Jacqueline Hale, who care? Nikita Dragon, her, who care, girl? Ah, oh, yes, I remember. So, when it came to Tati Westbrook, I was like, oh, got some very interesting tea here, girl. <coughs> woo, woo, girl. But first, you already know. Moses, hand me my water. The pH balance is 7.5 or higher. <gasps> Thank you, Moses. Mm, my little taco straw, I love it so much. Gotta stay hydrated, the house girl. All this tea has me quenching for more drama. So very quickly, I wanna say, look at my makeup look, girl. Okay, ah, oh, do you love it? Okay, so I've been ranting about this palette. Not sponsored, because they're going out of business, girl. <laughs> y'all didn't buy it. Y'all didn't support it. It's y'all's fault. Okay, BH Cosmetics. I have this palette called Lost in Los Angeles. And this, the colors are just super, like, you know, pastel, perfect for, like, Easter vibes. And I just kind of, I just love, I just love it. I freaking love this palette. And it's $12, girl, okay? So I love this palette. I just, ah, oh, I can't get enough of it. So shut up. Don't come for me. Leave me alone. Let me do what I want, okay? You're not. This is the vibe, okay? This is the vibe. So I went to Chanel yesterday, okay? I don't want to hear it, okay? I already know. Like, let me do what I want, okay? I, like, how are you going to talk about a $12 palette and then you went to Chanel? Welcome to my life, okay? This is my life, okay? So I wanted to share with you very quickly, okay? Because, like, this is, like, crucial. Okay, so Chanel came out with some new stuff. Some new facial products for, like, the skin or whatever. So I got this one, the mask. If we're going to show it to you, the mask. Guys, I freaking love the way this smells. I used it yesterday. I freaking love the way it smells. Not sponsored by Chanel. Okay, oh my god. I think I spent $150 for every, because I bought three things. This one right here, oh girl. The gel exfoliant. It's basically an exfoliation for your face. It's like little beads in it. You just rub it in. I love this. I love the mask. I mean, I love a good mud mask. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. I just want to show you because I'm obsessed with them right now. You know, if you're a skincare snob like me, you already know. You already know the tea, girl. And very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com so thank you adamandeve.com for sponsoring this video if you use code lux you say 50 percent off mm -hmm. 50 percent off girl i mean you can't get that anywhere it's not even black friday girl 50 percent off adamandeve.com use code lux off your first product exclusions do apply free shipping to us and canada it's not just about toys over there i mean yes you do have adult toys but like i like it for the lingerie the, you know they have really good silk pajamas and silk stuff so i already love it for that and it's just super cool over there Thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. And a portion of the proceeds goes to help find and fight cure of HIV and AIDS. So thank you, Adam and Eve. For, so thank you, AdamandEve.com, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with this drama. Okay, I already know. Y'all are just dying to know about the Tati Westbrook hottest tea. Everyone's talking about Tati Westbrook right now. It was, I thought it was gonna be a slow news day. I thought I was gonna be able to, you know, have a day off. Maybe go shop at Chanel some more. But no, because Tati Westbrook had a drop a bomb on the world, girl. So Tati Westbrook uploaded this video and she talks about where she's gonna move to. And it's very interesting, like even though she's moving, cause I, girl, okay, if you're a sneaky snake like me, we're very observant people. You know, us drama queens, sneaky snakes, the Poindexters in the comments, you know. We just, you notice here at 10 minutes and 40 seconds, she did this, like very much that, girl. Very, do you come to the right place? This, these are my people, okay? Thank you, Moses. I do want to say this. In her moving out video, you know, she was, you know, she had a little bit of anxiety with her piano, and I, I totally get that, right? But like, she had the windows drawn. We really didn't get to see, like, oh, I know exactly where she lives at. She's very private, even with her moving situation. She doesn't really want people to know, right? But the rumors are that she's moving to Houston, Texas. Okay, now she admitted in her video that she's moving to Texas. We are moving to Texas. Houston, Texas is the fourth largest city. So if she's moving to Texas, she could be a, she could maybe move to, well, let's just be honest, girl. Tati Westbrook is not gonna live out somewhere where she is not close to Ulta, Sephora, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, you know, luxury stores. So she may get like a nice ranch or a farm because she says she, allegedly she got a farm and she might get some horses. So I'm thinking she's either moving to Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, um, Austin. I'm thinking Austin, girl, but the rumors are saying it's Houston, okay, which is my backyard. So, Tati, if you're in Houston, girl, if the rumors are true, 
because Tati's a watcher sometimes. If Tati does move to Houston, Texas, in and around the, you know, the, the area, it's okay. You move to Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, you get number a 30 minute flight, girl. We'll call, I'll get the private jet. Uh, yes, I want to rent a private jet. I need to pick up Tati Westbrook. This is Rich Lux, 10 million views a month, mm-hmm. 1 million subscribers. Uh-huh, pick up Tati, um, Tati Westbrook, and fly her to Houston. We're going to meet her, have a limousine, pick her up. We're going to go to Mastro Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, fabulous. Thanks so much. And then, uh, also, I need you to contact Sephora and also have them shut the stores down because we're going to go shut it down. All right, love you so much. Bye. Very much that. Tati, if you're in Houston, let's link. I'll take you to dinner. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Would y'all like to see that? I don't know. Up to y'all guys. So I asked you guys on my Twitter. I was like, so what do you think about like Tati moving, you know, moving out here with the girls? And you know, you know, it's professional. I got my stylist, girl. Okay, so very interesting tea. I per personally, I'm excited and I'm happy for her that she's moving to Texas. I mean, why would she move to Texas? I mean, what's the motive here? Let me tell you. Look, listen. The thing is, here in Texas, your money goes a lot further. It goes a lot. You get bigger houses, bigger cars, evidently, more cars, more cars. She can afford to have 10 assistants. Like, it's just mind blowing. Like, people often tell me, well, Rich, why don't you move to LA? Girl, for what? and be depressed and miserable like the rest of them? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me tell you, here in Houston, I live like a king, sometimes a queen. I live the life of a million kings. I'm saying, it's just so affordable. If I move to LA, I will be living in a little shoebox. I can't, I wouldn't afford to have an assistant, much less a car. Like, it's just, so, it's, the, to live the way I want to live? Girl, I spend money like water, honey. Okay, let's just say that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, okay? I blow through it, okay? You got a dog? I'm gonna spend it. Okay, so to live in LA, no map. Here in Houston, I live very comfortably. It, that's just the way it is. I have a car, I have a huge penthouse, I have multiple assistants, I can run my businesses, I can spend money. And if I need to go to LA, I can just fly to LA, a little three hour flight. If I need to go to Orlando for Disney, a little two hour flight. If I need to go to New York, a little two hour flight. So it's like to me, I'm right in the middle. I can just fly to these places, go work and come back. I don't wanna get sucked into the life of LA or you know, you know what I'm talking about? Perfect the house. It's perfect the house. So for Tati to move to Texas, I think, is financially a smart move because her money will go a lot further here. And the fact that she misses her family, girl, she's saving so much money she can fly them here. Or that, she's saving so much money she can fly to them and see them. I mean, she's not bedridden in Texas, girl. She could literally fly to LA and go shopping if she wanted to. She can fly to Seattle, Washington and go shopping if she wanted to, go have dinner and then fly back. Like, I'm telling you, it's so much cheaper here. Anyways, all that to say this, I asked you guys on Twitter, what do you think about, you know, Tati moving to Texas? Well, I thought y'all were going to have a lot to say. And it seems like y'all were just, y'all are very shady. Some positive, some negative. So let's see what y'all said. Okay, so those of you who are not caught up on the drama, this is my, my twatter Twitter right here. Okay, so I just put on there, hey, cowgirl, Tati's moving. Oh, we got a lot of comments. So let me see what y'all said. First comment by Chell, y'all so shady. Couldn't care less about someone who voiced concern. Let's see, Yari star drama. I'm happy for her. Wish her the best, much success. Instead it's, yet she acts like other people who said the same. Girl, they went in, they went in. Another person, uh, Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom said, I don't care. Next person, that's cool. I hate living in big city. It's too stressful. Everything's so expensive. I wish I had enough money to move. Yeah, you know, everyone ain't able. Another question by Meat Moose. What? It is is it buying a house like a lot of work? Uh, all my exes live in Texas. Mm -hmm. Stephanie said, Tana will say she's moving and getting a farm. I have doubt, but I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of people are saying that these big YouTubers are moving to, to Texas or Wyoming and stuff like that. Maybe it's taxes. Honestly, it's... From a business standpoint, it is so easy. And like most people who are in the tax bracket that is Tati Westbrook, they can afford to live by coastal. I'm just saying. Their main residence could be Texas. But you know, they have a little they have a little apartment in Miami, a little apartment in New York, a little apartment in California, and wherever the wherever the warm weather is, they just kinda go over there, hang out type vibe, you know? It's fabulous. It's fabulous. So that's what she's doing. Tati Westbrook is moving to Texas. 
Is it a mistake? My opinion, I don't think so. I think it's a smart business move. Uh, apparently, allegedly, the rumors are she's moving to Houston, she's buying a farm and may get horses. Okay, and it's not totally out the whim. She posted a receipt, you know, saying that she kind of wished she had something bigger, like that whole vibe. So I do think that it's a great move. It really is a great move. She could literally, she doesn't need to be in LA. She doesn't need to be in Seattle. For what? And paying all those big city taxes. Like for what, girl? Just live here and fly around the country. Half the time, girl, half the time. I mean, honestly, First of all, I like the direction of Tati's channel that is going because she said, I mean, I got the vibe that she was going to take us along on this journey and like show us maybe the house being built because they're buying a house and it's getting, you know, a little touched up. I would love to see some like DIY, home improvement content, more lifestyle videos. I think this is exciting. This is so exciting to see her because we always know her for sitting down. You know, she'll, she'll get a new palette or something and she'll try it on and then she'll, you know, she'll take us out, you know, to the store or whatever, a little eight hour wear test and she'll come back oh you know kind of wear it fine but like to see her doing more content like this i it really it really did open up i enjoyed it it just you got to see her in a different light you know because look listen I, i've been saying this years you want to get to and this has really might have to do with tati but not really if you like somebody girl like maybe you're a girl and you like a guy or a guy like a guy or whatever whatever floats your boat the best way to get to know someone yes take them to dinner yes go to the movies oh, so boring the best way to get to know someone take them on a trip i'm telling you girl take these people on a trip take them to a, it doesn't need to be extravagant you know maybe the next city up just to go shopping go out to dinner get a hotel room maybe it's the next you're gonna cast the flight to the cheapest little you know maybe you're gonna go to vegas maybe new york for the weekend very much that take them on a trip because you'll really get to see their true colors because on a trip there are things that are out of your control flights get delayed okay new city you don't know how things are working out how things are going and so there's all these little problems that arise and you get to see that person how they maneuver the situation and so and you really get to see if you can be with that person because let me tell you i've gone on trips with people and i'm like oh girl i cannot wait the trip is over can we fly them home right now they are getting on my nerves Okay, and you can see, you just get to see them in a different light outside of the comfort zone. So Tati, the fact that she's moving, we're get we're getting to see her in a different light. And I so far I'm liking what I see. I mean, it's Tati. She's not she's not a dumb girl. She's very smart, very smart. You know, down to the music that was chosen for this vlog, it was very like it was kind of like foreshadowing because it was a kind of like country you know music. And I was like, okay, I think I think I think I might know where she's going. She's going to the country maybe. Boom, Texas girl. Which honestly, I feel like when people think of Texas, they think of like horses and cactus. Girl, let me tell you, I live in Houston, Texas. I ain't never seen no damn horse or cactus riding around. Girl, no. All I see is skyscrapers, buildings, and Rolls Royces out here. But then I live in the Galleria area, which is like Beverly Hills of Houston. So like, you know, Beverly Hills, you want all that? Galleria. But every major city has like their Beverly Hills part. You know what I'm saying? Like Dallas has domain, right? If you know, if you know, San Antonio has what? No, I'm not trying to be sure. Where's San Antonio? Got Alamo? You know what I'm saying? That whole area, I guess. I don't know. There's all, no, no. I know where it's at. I think, oh, I forgot the name. It's like at the cuff of my head, but like every area, every city has like a little bougie area, right? That's just the way it works. Anyways, Tati, I don't think she's gonna be too far from there, but I am excited for the content. And I, most importantly, I wanna know what you guys think about it because this literally gives people a second chance or third chance or fourth chance, however you wanna see it, to get to know Tati on a different level. You get to see her growth. You get to see where her mind's at, how she handles situations, the move. Uh, like for example, in this video that she posted, her husband, Jay, James, Tati seemed like she was very much in control of how the movers moved the piano. And she was so like micromanaging that she was like, no, no, no. She got her husband to do it. Like just you, folk, you handle it. You know how I like it. I'm gonna be up here. I'm gonna be occupied. I don't wanna know. And then when she came down, it was moved and everything. So she was like kind of put at ease. So I think that we got to see Tati like opening up, opening up, being more vulnerable, getting in situations that, you know, outside her comfort zone. So I love that because you get to see them in a different light. But anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. I can't wait for you guys. I can't wait to see your comments. So anyways, I'll let you guys go and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.